Hey guys, it's Molly Cole, back with another video, and today I'm going to show you how to get green screen effects and make your videos spin and do uh, more complicated edits. So I will show you um, one of my edits right now. It's going to be on the screen, just pasting that right over there. Um, yeah, and that's what it will kind of look like. And um, so we'll be using an app called Cute Cut Pro right here. Uh, Q-Cup Pro and Pocket Video. Pocket Video is for the green screen effects and Q-Cut is to make it spin and do regular edits. You can edit with Pocket Video too, but Q-Cut is just a bit better in my opinion. So you'll search up po Pocket Pocket Video. Video. And um, it'll be that one right there. The one that says open. Just download that. And then also, um, Cute Cut Pro, if you type it in, uh, it will cost $6, which is a lot, but also there's one, this one that's free, but it's not very good. You can only ex export 30 seconds. So what you have to do is you have to go to Safari and search up App Valley, App Valley, download.org. Uh, now it's loading up. Oh, no, not that one. I'm sorry app valley.vip um and you'll just press um install app valley and then you'll press allow and then it'll you'll click install you'll type in your password blah 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 and you'll press get you know and then you will have the profile and you can also get this with tutu app and some other things too um link will all be in the description to get it and then you'll have something called app valley right here and then you can go into the app and then you'll click library oh my god you'll click library and then you'll click apps and then you'll click paid in other apps and scroll down until you see qcut pro and press get and then you'll just press install and then once this installs you'll have this icon but when you press on it it'll say untrusted developer so you'll go into settings and then you'll go down to general and then you'll scroll all the way down to profiles and device management and you'll press that and then you'll press your enterprise app and um it'll be right here and where it says delete app it'll say trust app and you'll press trust um it's not dangerous don't worry and uh yeah that's how you get cute cut so right now I'm going to show you how to uh, use QCut. So um, what you'll do is you'll go into the app and press plus new movie. Uh, just press create and then uh, do you can change it if you want HD, SD square, SD is standard definition. Uh, I would choose HD though and you can change it to landscape or portrait, change the frame rate. I'll keep all of these default though um, and press done and then you can press the plus button and add any of these things that you want, but I'm pressing video. And then I'm just going to put this little clip in here. And you'll double tap on this strip, um, this strip um, of the video, and you can do all of these things. You can really just play around with it, but you can rotate it if you want. You can, um, I guess, make it b like upside down and stuff. Yeah, so that's upside down. And then you can add filters like this right here. Uh, change the hue. That one looks really cool. It makes it opposite. Um, and you can crop it and change how fast you want it to be. Um, I'm not going to crop it, though. So what you do is it's still the key. If you watch my last video, the key is still splitting. So you'll just double tap on it and press the scissor icon to split different clips that you want, maybe. So I got some games right there so I can double uh split that and section that off and uh yeah and then you can uh, change how fast you want that section to be and when you press the plus you can uh, add photo text self-draw music voice or video over it uh so yeah you can do voiceovers and stuff and let's just say text real quick you can say anything you want and then you can stretch it for as long as for how long you want it to stay see you can stretch it and then you can also edit the text um you can change the font uh you can uh change how 
the size and the color of it, and you can outline it, which is pretty cool. And to do the spinnies, which you probably hear for, you double tap on it and you'll press the ro- wand with the rotate. And they'll give you, and you'll, oh, you'll press the plus, and they'll give you a bunch of default ones right here. And you'll just press a uh, custom transition or use these. In custom, you, you just like take the blue things and you can spin it and you can stretch it and you can do all sorts of, sorts of, uh, sorts of things. I'll press another custom, and then I'll do that, and then I'll maybe do it on the other side, or just, like, move it, and then you can set it back, or just spin it again, I don't know, you can pretty much just play around with it, and just like this editing software, you just play around with it, that's just how you do it, and yeah, let's just look at how this looks real quick, and yeah, you can spin it up, uh, speed it up, and do all sorts of things. And to set it back, you just double tap and press the scissors. And uh, just to let you know, uh, you'll probably want to s- uh, save sec- sections of the clips if you want. Because it'll do a transition every cut you do, see? Um, and they'll make it fast or slow. And yeah, this is what this one will look like. This one is slower, um, as you can see. But yeah, it still looks really cool. So yeah, it'll do that for every split, sadly, but um, th- you'll just have to uh, cut it. So yeah, next I'll teach you how to do the more MLG edits. So right now, I'm inside of the app Pocket Video. So what you'll do is you'll press the plus button, and then you can choose a template, but I'm just going to choose a custom landscape one. So what you can do is you can add in uh, anything you want, like right here. Um, and I'm just going to add in something for my camera roll. Uh, let's choose this real quick. The same thing I edited in my last one. But, um, you can also add in other people's YouTube videos. Uh, like this right here. Um, uh, don't add in my videos, but you can. You can plagiarize right here. Uh, yeah, just please don't do that. Um. But yeah, so to do the green screen, you press on it and do video sticker and add. You can choose one from your camera, camera roll, or YouTube if you want to screen record one from YouTube off of a compilation. But you will just search up green screen effects or any kind of green screen thing you want. And you can add it in, like any of these things. But I'll do green screen circle. Circle. Um, Yeah, I'll just do that. And you can see here, it's like right here, like that. I mean, that's kind of bad, but I guess that's okay. And it's importing. Okay, so it's imported, and um, there it is right there, that green thing. But since it's green right now, you'll press mask and then green screen. And then, um, yeah, you see that right there. It goes around in a circle. And you can choose uh, different ones. Um like I'll add another one YouTube um and then I'll choose oops uh Agario green screen I don't know green screen um and then um green screen new shockwave nebulous thing I don't know and yeah it looks kind of cool see some Sony Vegas Pro things and then you'll click done Importing. And then y'all, you just press green screen again. And then, yeah, you have these cool, weird effects. And with this app, you can also do a lot of other things, too. Like, you can add in music by this down here. And then you can add in YouTube library. So that's easy. That's another way to add in music. And you can also add in photo stickers, text. You can split it over here speed it up you know how it goes it's just like the last one just play around with it and yeah that's just how you do the cool edits so if you like this video please give a thumbs up like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace out